thermodynamics, there are certain phenomena we observed when considering heat. It always flows spontaneously from hotter to cooler regions of matter. This led to the second law. For any reversible process, the entropy of the universe remains unchanged, while for the irreversible process, the entropy of the universe increases. First, we need to talk about entropy. Entropy is a way to describe disorder or chaos and directionality within a system. Let me explain. As we add heat to a system, something predictable happens. The system expands or a substance changes from liquid to gas, and always in that order. Thus, we use entropy to describe the directionality of a process. Entropy is a way to describe or measure the flow of energy. By observing molecules, we learn that when we add energy to them, they move more and more unpredictable. They scatter and move randomly. The system that contains these molecules becomes chaotic. Thus, entropy is also a way of describing the chaos within a system. Entropy is an extensive property. It is denoted with the letter S and has units joule per Kelvin. Let's talk about entropy in reversible and irreversible processes. A reversible process is a process in which the system can be returned to its original state without any net effect on the surroundings. In these processes, the entropy stays constant since the system is returned to its initial state. Irreversible processes are real-life processes with friction. The work obtained is always less. In these processes, the entropy increases. Thus, we get our first formula. Entropy of the universe is always increasing, or at best, stays constant. Energy transfer via heat is driven by temperature, which can be related to random motion of molecules and therefore to disorder or entropy. Entropy is defined in terms of heat absorbed during a reversible process, as change in heat over temperature. Let's look at a few formulas you can use when answering second law questions. For closed systems, change in entropy of the system plus change in entropy of the surroundings is greater than and equal to zero. If your surroundings are at constant temperature, you can use this formula to calculate the entropy of the surroundings. Let's look at formulas for specific scenarios. For a reversible isothermal expansion of an ideal gas, you can use this formula to calculate the entropy of the system. And for a reversible isobaric heating of an ideal gas, you can use this formula. Let me know in the comments if you want me to derive any of these formulas or have any questions about them. From these two formulas, we get a general formula that we can use. We can simplify this equation based on conditions. If Cp is constant, we use this equation. And if Cv is constant, we can use this equation. Remember that in these formulas, the S is lowercase. And this indicates that entropy is per mole. Let's look at an example. A piston cylinder device initially contained 0.5 meters cubed of an ideal gas at 150 kPa and 20 degrees Celsius. The gas is subjected to a constant external pressure of 400 kPa and compressed in an isothermal process. Assume the surroundings are at 20 degrees Celsius. Take Cp to be 25R and assume the ideal gas model holds. Question 1. Determine the heat transfer in kilojoules during the process. Question 2. What is the entropy change of the system, surroundings and universe? And lastly, is the process reversible, irreversible or impossible? Let's look at the first question. To determine the heat transfer, we need to use the first law. If you are not familiar with the first law questions and theory, feel free to go watch my videos on it. I'll link the description below. The change in internal energy of an ideal gas undergoing an isothermal process is zero. Thus, we can set the heat plus the work equal to zero. We can rewrite this to get the heat. And when plugging in our values, we get a heat of minus 125 kilojoules. To find the entropy change of the system, we will use our general formula for constant Cp. The first term is zero since the process is isothermal. To get the entropy, we have to multiply the equation by the moles. We come to a problem, we do not have the moles. But since this is an ideal gas, we can use PV equals nRT. We plug this into the equation and get a new equation. We cancel out the gas constant and plug in the values. The entropy change of the system is minus 0.25 kilojoules per Kelvin. For entropy change of the surroundings, we can just use the heat and temperature formula at constant temperature. We plug in our values and get an entropy of 0.43 kilojoules per Kelvin. The entropy change of the universe is thus entropy of system plus entropy of surroundings. We plug in the values and get 0.18 kilojoules per Kelvin. The last question is interesting. 
We know that in a reversible process, the change in entropy is always zero, and that in an irreversible process, the entropy of the universe always increases. And if the entropy was negative or decreasing, the process would be impossible. Since the entropy of the universe increases, the process is irreversible. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped simplify entropy for you.